Hi ladies and gentlemen, this video will show you how to replace the cable assembly on the S2 DBL or the Penguin dual flush valve. First step is to take the activation box here on the back of the tank lever and jiggle it and pull hard. It will unsnap from that tank lever. Next step, if you have the Penguin toilet, you're going to twist this either clockwise or counterclockwise to remove it from the the seat. If you have the S2 DBL, you're going to snap turn it clockwise, uh, one quick turn and it will pull right out. Uh, also remove your, remember to remove your refill hose here from the fill valve. Okay, once you have the flush valve in your hand, if you look just beneath where the cable attaches to the lifting arm here, you're going to see a little push button. You're going to take and you're going to depress that push button and you're going to lift the lifting arm straight out of the valve. Okay, you see how that works. All right, after that, when you get the new cable, what you need to do is you need to make sure the, the overflow pipe is lifted all the way up there, okay? You depress the lever. You're going to make sure the lifting arms here go underneath the tabs located at the bottom of the overflow pipe. And then you're going to place the little arm here in the slot and push straight down until it latches in place. Again, make sure these lifting arms go right underneath these tabs. If you can see that there, there's some tabs underneath the, uh, the segments of the overflow pipe there. The lifting arm must be underneath that. Okay, to place it back into the tank here, simply place it back into the seat and lock it in place. Reconnect your lever or your tank lever uh, mounting base here. Hold the lever in the position you want it before snapping it on and reconnect your refill hose. And then you should be set to go. If you have any questions, please call Technical Services. Hi everyone. This short video will show you how to remove and replace the Penguin Dual Flush Valve from the 527 model Penguin Toilet. The first step is to remove the activation box behind the tank lever here. Basically grab hold of the box with one hand here and you're going to jiggle and you're going to pull really hard to get that off of there. Okay, once that is off, you remove the refill nipple, or excuse me, the refill hose from the fill valve nipple. And then with the flush valve, you're basically just going to twist it. As you twist it, you'll feel, you'll hear it click. Okay, and then every 90 degrees or so, it'll release and it'll pull right out. Okay. You pull that out, you take hold of your new one, and you go in the opposite direction. You place this down inside there into the seat and twist it clockwise or counterclockwise, doesn't matter which direction you go. You want to position the, the gray float to the front side of the tank. You then uh, can take your activation box here and you snap it back onto your lever. You hold the lever in the position you want it before snapping the box onto there and then take the refill hose and reconnect it to the fill valve and you're set. If you have any questions, please call Technical Services. Thanks. All right, this is a quick tutorial on how to remove the dual flush canister, the old style, and replace it with the new style. Uh, the old style has the cable coming out the side. The new style has the cable coming up through the top. That's how you know the difference. To replace the old style, the first thing you want to do is shut your water off down at your wall. Make sure that water's turned off. And then go ahead and remove the lever. Take the activation box here with your hand. You're going to jiggle and pull hard. It will come off. You just have to pull hard on it. Then you take your lock nut. You're going to turn it in a clockwise direction to remove it. It is reverse threaded. Remove the nut. Pull the handle out, remove your refill hose, remove the rubber refill hose from the side of the dual flush, and then to remove the canister, you simply take hold of the top of the valve and you jerk it up and away from the overflow pipe. Don't be afraid to pull hard. That's all you have to do, okay? If you need to flush your toilet, that's one way to do it. You can actually have this on there, remove it, the water will fall out. You can snap it back down on there to get the tank to refill. Okay, so if, if you just need to t flush your toilet temporarily until you get the new system, you can do it that way. Okay, to 
put the new one in, simply take the arrow, line it up with the pipe, and snap it straight down, okay? Um, the tank lever now, the new tank lever, you'll notice on this bushing, excuse me, I'm dropping pieces, you'll notice on this bushing there are is one fin on one side and no fin on another, and then the top and the bottom have two fins. This side with no fin goes to the right, okay? And this side with one fin goes to the left. So, when you place that in there, place no fin this to the right side of the hole, place your nut on there, excuse me, going the wrong direction, twist it clockwise to lock it, excuse me, counterclockwise to tighten it. It's reverse threaded, so counterclockwise to tighten it. Take your activation box, it now has a quick disconnect button, press the button, and snap it onto the lever. Make sure the lever is pushed all the way into the hole. If it doesn't get pushed into the hole all the way, you won't have enough shaft showing to be able to get the box snapped on all the way. Okay, now the final step is your refill hose. We are providing a refill clip. When possible, use this clip. You slide it onto the pipe here and connect the hose to the nipple. You can cut your hose to size if it's too long. It's okay to cut it. If you have a little hole in your pipe for the refill hose already, you can put the hose in there, but you can only put it in there so far. You do not want the end of the hose to be too far into the pipe. It creates a siphon. So only put it in there maybe a quarter inch or so. Okay? Uh, and that's it. You're done, except for the adjustments, which are in the instructions there, uh, or you can use the same settings you had previously set. Okay, have a great day. Okay, this video will instruct you on how to remove the 747 and retrofit the 747 UK into place. Simply take hold of the connector nut and twist it clockwise and it will, uh, one eighth of a turn, it will release, pull the valve out, take your 747 UK, do the same thing, twist the connector nut clockwise pull the valve out, take the new valve, place it into the old riser pipe, twist the connector nut clockwise until it snaps into place, and that is it, and you are finished. If you have any questions, please call Tech Services. Thank you.